Nikon D780, should I upgrade? I will admit I used that as a clickbait. I'm guilty I did it. The truth is, if you have a 750 or an 850, or if you have a 750, uh, it's a great camera. I have a 750. What I really like about it is the smaller sensor size. I like it for astrophotography for time lapses because they're smaller photos. Once you shoot everything raw, once you develop it, it's easy just to batch it and you're done. And it makes a great lapse. I, I do love a good time lapse. I always am a sucker for a good time lapse. But when I got the camera, what I wanted it for was astrophotography, but I wanted to see what it was compared to the 750 or the 850 or my favorite, the 800. So I put my Tamron 150 to 600 millimeter lens on there. I think most birders use that because of that little extra reach. You're going to shoot at f8, f9, maybe f11 most of the time anyway, so it's because it's slower, it's not really a big deal. And I did something I normally don't do. I put it into auto ISO. I let the camera just run as wild as it wanted. I wanted to see what it would do. So this shot right here was shot at an ISO of uh, 2500. And if I'm wrong, it's off to the side here are my settings for that. I was shooting it more like it was in shutter priority. I, I wanted a really fast shutter speed to see if I could catch these hummingbirds in flight. Most of them were just sitting. And then I shot this one again. The ISO on this is crazy high. I think it's 22500, but it's off to the side. And it's still a very usable photo. I'm shocked. I have never, ever let my ISOs go probably above maybe 1200. The worst. James and I did a, a wedding and they had little yellow twinkle lights for their lights all over. That was horrible. We made it work. But even that I didn't let go that high. Since I've been shooting this over the last month, I've gone birding, I've done some faux macro, I've tried for astrophotography, but as you can see out behind me, it's gloomy, it's cold. This is mid-April in sunny Southern California, and it's cold outside. I'm in a sweatshirt. So, I'm going to show you this lapse that I've shot, that I shot, well, just last night of the stars coming in, and then I'm going to take you back to some of my first outings this, uh, of this, and... If you really want to skip to the end, that's where I'm going to give you my thoughts of what I really like about it and uh, what I don't like about it. And I'll just tell you right now, there is nothing I don't like about it. It is an amazing camera. So let me take you into that. And to continue testing, this is a pretty amazing sky, so let's get some shots here. And I'm going to compare it to the D800 that already has my favorite lens, which is the 24-85. I'm going to get a couple shots with my D800, switch the lens over, and uh, then we'll get, uh, I think I'll start a time lapse with this one too. So, but in the meantime, let's get some photos. was a bit of a, well, that was just a time lapse, but that was a bit of macro, pseudo macro, faux macro. It was just some, some nice close-up shots using a macro lens, but I wasn't using, I wasn't doing it like James does, and I wasn't using a tripod. So now, the real test for me, well, aside from astrophotography, which I have no idea when I'm going to be able to shoot that. Racers are out tonight, maybe they're tired of being cooped up too is some birds in flight, so let's go see if we can get some of those. I'm being a responsible citizen, in case you can't tell. Uh, James is coming out here, we're gonna go shoot some birds. There's absolutely no light up out here, and I know that this is not the greatest in the lowest love lights, so. 
I'm being the responsible citizen. All right, so this goes over here. It'll fit over my big head. Perfect. Check your glasses off. That right makes side. it easier. Yep. That goes over there. <laughs> Maybe he's just picking up trash. Oh, is that guy over there? <laughs> It's your show. Okay, now, I, I, if you've stuck out this long, if you watched all the fun nonsense that went in between, man, I appreciate it. I know it's long. I, I tend to run these things long, but I, I, I sorry. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm gonna look at my list over here. I won't be looking at you quite as much. No, it does not have IBIS, in-body stabilization. Not a big deal. Even the Sonys that have it, I think, it doesn't really work for video. It doesn't have what GoPro does. Their, their software is amazing. If you want something that's really in camera, you have to have some great software. Uh, GoPro has that. It's not a professional camera, but it, do, it does shoot 4K. If you're going to use this for video, you have to have a gimbal. Now, what this, what the 780 has that, that the 850 doesn't have, and nor does the, the 750, it took everything from the Z6 as far as their uh, autofocus and everything else. And I personally like shooting my video 90% of the time in autofocus or excuse me, in just an auto mode. And I think that's pretty cool that it has that. It's, so if you're using live view on the back, it's phenomenal. Earlier, I showed you some of the other stuff that I shot when we were out at Sepulveda Basin. I love the color on this. I really do. It has a USB-C port on the side so you can charge it while you're, while you're using it, which is really cool. It still takes all the same uh, inputs and outputs that you would use for your 750, but now you can do everything through the USB-C, which I think is much easier to use. Not that big a deal. The live view on the back is where you will see it's, it's touch just like the 850. So in the past, for me, as I said, I, I, I got this for astrophotography. It was a toss-up between getting the... I'm a gear whore. It was a toss-up between getting the, the Canon RA, the EOS, EOS RA for astrophotography or this. And I thought, well, I'm a Nikon guy and I can use this for so many other things. Let me get the Nikon. I probably will still get the Canon for astrophotography. In the limited amount that I have used this for astrophotography, what I've found is... The filters, the light pollution filters, they just make it look awful. Even my high-end Bader one that I use on my telescope, it, it's better without it. The color is just amazing straight out of the camera. And the interesting thing about that is every camera does something slightly different due to the image, due to the, the sensor and the sensitivity. I love and will always love my D800 for the way it has a warmth to it for, uh, for landscapes and for clouds, I just, I think you can't match it. That will be my go-to forever until something else comes out. Um, but, and the 850 was my go-to for birding and astrophotography. And the 750 I was using for time lapses for astrophotography, again, as I said earlier, because of the smaller sensor. But at this point, I think the 850 will still be my astrophotography camera the 750 will be my birding and everything else except landscapes will be the 800 I, I like i said I, i'm a gear whore man if i'm going to do video i would even on a tripod i'm going to use an actual video camera that i like that i'm shooting on right now which is a sony and i still think that sony has their autofocus is superior but on this Nikon, never been known for, for video, it is pretty doggone amazing. Since this D780 does shoot in 4K, I'm, you've heard guys say out there, well, I don't do anything over 1080. I don't believe that, man. I, sh I, I believe in getting as much information as you can. And if you're going to put it into a smaller format, fantastic. You have more detail, which is what I liked about shooting birds with the 850 is when you shoot a bird and it's really small, you crop into it. Well, this hummingbird right here, I probably showed it earlier, but I'm going to show it again here. This was the original, and I cropped way into it on the 780. And that was something, again, that also impressed me is the detail and the depth and the brightness of the, of, of the, of the camera itself. I like a larger sensor when cropping in for birding, which is why I was using the 850. This it will take that its place. If I could combine the 780 and the D850 into one camera. That would just be the most amazing for me and, and what I want out of a camera. But the other thing is with Nikon, they've been around so long. Their F-mount lenses, they're plentiful. They're relatively inexpensive. Mm, relatively. A good lens is a good lens. The new stuff, even the kit lenses, are still good lenses compared to some of the older ones. And there's a reason that, that lenses are so expensive. They do what they're supposed to do with high clarity and quality. As I, as I started 
with my clickbait should you upgrade that man that's entirely up to you the 750 is a fantastic camera i've had people ask me well i'm going to get a 3200 and it's a crop sensor is that a good camera and i the, the only thing i can tell them is yeah i actually like the way that processed color lenses you need to remember lenses are where a lot of your quality is going to come from a fantastic lens cost a lot of money for a specific reason it's a good lens that the clarity on it is just insane which is what you want which is why for portraits and stuff the the lens to use is an 85 millimeter i don't like that i like i prefer a 50 for tighter spaces or i prefer a um, I'm odd. A 24 to 85, my old Nikon lens, it's a G lens. That's my favorite. I just think it's a phenomenal lens and we'll use that until it dies and then maybe buy another or have it repaired. And that's it. Johnny Pink, man, I want to say thank you for watching. I hope you got something out of it. If not, well, if you have any questions and I can answer them again, these are just my opinions based on my use for me. You are most welcome. There's my email is listed down below. You can email me. You can leave me a comment. You can leave me a thumbs up. You can leave me a thumbs down if you think I'm clueless. And I'm perfectly OK with that, too. Have a fantastic day. We'll see you guys. Side note, that color right there is my absolute favorite color of flower. Sorry if I have nose sweat. I love that color. Okay, now box, back to Box Canyon. And maybe a few snippets from this one too. Going that way, back to box for you.